Good evening, six o'clock, welcome to Drive with Caroline Barker and Peter Allen. I'm in Datchet in Berkshire, uh, where the flood waters have, uh, where, I do apologize. I'm gonna have to ask you to take this off, Car over, Caroline. I've lost my no, script. No, trying my, my situation, friend. of course, in Datchet. At the... We're gonna talk now about sewer strumming. Pardon? Something like that, anyway. <laughs> I was told to uh, roll the R's. Just the way I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've got time for a, a joke, Anna? Before oh, I... always time for a joke, I think. My friend told me he was going to a fancy dress party uh, as an Italian island. I told him, don't be silly. Don't be si Sicily. <laughs> Sicily. Oh, no. That was you my know, favourite that's such a good one. joke. <laughs> After a long day preparing for Five Live Drive, not many people know I'm actually an avid DJ. There's nothing I like more than winding down on the wheels of steel, mashing tunes up, banging those beats and dropping some anthems. Let me hear you say, yeah! The good old traditional cup of tea. Tea, 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 tea. Well, good evening. Welcome to Drive with Anna Foster and David Cameron. I'm in Edinburgh tonight and indeed for much of the week. Welcome to Drive with Anna Foster and David Cameron. David Cameron. I'm terribly sorry. I was supposed to talk to you about tea, but I got a bit distracted. No, that's OK. <laughs> Just to the left of the cows, Peter, is that human hamster wheel I was telling you about? You want me to have Fancy a go at that, you? Yeah, I do. OK. OK, I'm running. <laughs> you are. Here we go. So, save some energy for hamster the hamster wheel. wheel. Here it comes. Which way do I have to go? This is great. I didn't think you really would. This way? Yeah, you need to hold on this, though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, be careful, Peter. <laughs> oh, yes, now I'm going. You are as well. It's very impressive. Whoop. My word. <laughs> Please don't fall, Peter. Hold that on enough? tight. That's very good. Is that going to keep the studio going or not? Well, for a couple oh, of minutes, so maybe. Long. You need a rest now, don't you? That must be enough, Anna. <laughs> I've suffered already. We'll let you off. Have a sit down. <laughs> We're talking an old tin of herrings here. Um, it's a 25 years old, found in the loft in Norway. Such concern about what might happen when they opened it that the tin was opened by an expert. It was really exciting to remove it from this uh, place because there was uh, approximately four or five tons of pressure on it. But uh, Was there? Uh, it's, got, it's got quite a distinctive smell. So after 25 years, what sort of smell did it have? In Sweden, we have some rules what is supposed to be told on radio, but... Uh, it, it, uh, it smelled, uh, 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 to be a little humble, I will say rotten eggs. Rotten eggs, that kind of yeah. smell. The kind of smell which you normally would have to apologise for. Yeah. So it's a, a bubble-free lager, and it's called Lad. Yeah, time mm. for Calling it Lad is a bit restrictive, isn't it? I know the women like it too, because it's a very pleasant drink. Women don't burp, though, of course, do they? So No, they don't, no. No. Does this uh, beer called Lad stop wind coming in any direction, as it were? <laughs> Well, we haven't had any complaints from any direction. You, you were trying to lower the tone then, weren't you? I was asking the question which was on everybody's <laughs> mind, as ever. Five Live not afraid to put the real question. Joe Corrigan, lovely to speak to you, sir. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, you can't believe how lovely it is to speak to you. My <laughs> hero. Mm, 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 mm. Now for a story that might uh, warm the cockles of even the coldest heart. It involves an elderly couple from Hull who split up after a very bitter divorce 57 years ago. And they just married again. Uh, Leslie is 93 year old now. Elsie is uh, 90. Now, I plucked up courage one night. Well, I said to the daughter... Do you think it'd be all right if I rang your mum up? Yeah. She said, well, the best way to do is try her. <laughs> so I did try her. Well, I'm really delighted. So, did you have a nice wedding? Yes. Good. Very and... good. Everything's right back to normal now. Well, that's great. I wish you a long and happy married life together. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. I don't know what that was. <laughs> 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 Neither do I. <laughs> Who was that? That is. 